Yo, what's going on guys? It's Chimney Swift here and welcome back to another episode of Legacy. Sorry that it's been a hot minute since the last episode. I do apologize, but we're getting back into things today and I am super excited. So I'm just going to keep my head down here as I mine these crops and harvest these crops because to the left of me right here is my updated Radagast style house. And I'm so excited to show that to you guys. I did a lot of work in between episodes trying to make the house look better. I know last episode I was fairly happy with it. Certain things I really liked about it, but there were also other things that I did not like about it. And so I've changed it quite drastically and the inside is also looking pretty sweet. Also, side note, I gotta do something about these animals that I have penned up here. So I'm thinking today we're probably gonna build something new right as I pick up some eggs. Right here, maybe we'll make like an animal pen of some kind. I'm thinking that might look kind of neat. What am I gonna do with these eggs? Uh, let's just uh, throw them on Germ's front doorstep. Nope, no, no new chickens. Okay. Also guys, check this out. Avomance behind me over here is building a giant beanstalk. I don't know if he wants that spoiled. No, I think it's okay because he's been streaming it, which is really cool. All right, enough fiddling around. I think it's time to reveal my updated house here in the Fantasy District. Are you guys ready? All right, I hope so. Here we go. Boom. This is it. So welcome to my updated house. It's not fully finished. I probably think that I could add some more leaves and stuff like on the outside, but this is kind of what we're looking at. So let me kind of, I don't know. There's a couple different angles that look really nice. The first one being the view right here from our nether portal. So when you, right when you step in right to the left, you'll see this house, which is really freaking cool. I think from this side, it looks really awesome. I wanted to hang some lights in the branches and stuff, which I think you know, kind of give it a really interesting aesthetic. And thank you to Arcalus's Islands for blocking the sun currently because it's sort of giving us that nighttime vibe. But yeah, I went ahead and I textured up some of the walls. We've got a little sort of roof exit up top up there. We've got a bunch of branches over here. I still need to do something here with all of my stuff. But the backside here, we've got a sloped roof that goes down and we've got another window up there. And yeah, so just looking at it from the front here, I'm really pleased with this. I also added a little bit of a path, sort of a rough path here that take, you know, kind of go, I'm probably gonna get rid of this actually, but, and well, I'm, I'm just gonna move it, but I'm thinking we'll have like a little path kind of coming out of here. And I wanted a path sort of going between these two structures here, which we're gonna be working on this one today. And then obviously we can connect this up to germs here. Cause we really need, need to start getting some pathways in this zone, in this district. So things look a little bit cooler, but let me jump inside. I want to show you guys what the inside looks like, because I think the inside is aesthetically pleasing. I hope. Please let me know down in the comments what you think. Oh my goodness, I left a piece of bone meal over here. Hold on. All right, so let's head on inside here. And right as we head inside, we're greeted with a lot of brown and a lot of wood as well because we're sort of inside of a tree or that's kind of how I wanted things to feel. So the left side over here, this is gonna kind of be like my kitchen, but I really haven't figured out exactly how I wanna decorate this yet. So this area is sort of unfinished. Right here, I built a custom closet that's, oops, <laughs> that's basically just made out of spruce trap doors but it goes under the staircase. So we have a door here and under here are three double chests full of storage as well as a crafting table. So I've got a bunch of supplies in here and I need to move some of my stuff from outside under here. But I think this little spot looks kind of nice and it's tucked away. Over here is just sort of some more rough decor. I kind of felt like having this area feel like it was inside of a tree would be kind of fun and cool. And then up there is like a little bit of a balcony area that I'm going to show you guys. But I realized while I was building this that I liked having a gap right there. And I'll show you guys in a minute. But having it kind of look down onto this lantern here sort of provided a bit of a more open feel of the house. So swinging around to this side, I tried to incorporate. I wanted, so I figured, I was like, all right, Radagast, he lives inside this house, but he probably also has a campfire inside because you need to cook food and stuff. So I really had a tough time figuring out where I wanted to put a campfire, but I decided on this spot right here and I made a little bit of a, an exit in the roof for the smoke, but I think it kind of works. I just am not quite sure exactly how to decorate around this area because you know, the walkway is really small. It's basically like a one block diagonal walkway here. And I could make it bigger, but I really felt like I wanted these tree trunks to sort of feel like they were coming and sort of impeding on the house a little bit to give it a bit more of a cramped aesthetic. So if you guys have any ideas on what I can do to decorate this, you know, let me know. I mean, I could honestly, oh, let me let me try something. I mean, I could maybe take like cobblestone slabs and kind of do something like that. That doesn't look half bad, but it also kind of looks a little bit weird. I don't know. I will remove these for now and you guys can let me know down in the comment section what you think I should do with that little campfire. All right, but moving on to this little corner though, this is one of my favorite spots in the entire house. And this is just sort of like, I don't know. It's, it's kind of like a working area, I guess. So we've got a little bit of storage right here. We got two barrels and a chest. We also have an armor stand. We have a furnace, an anvil, my ender chest is over here, as well as a crafting table. And I saw Sausage do this in his little wizard house where he just put some of these warped roots in a pot and I thought that looked really cool, so I did that here. We got a bunch of lanterns. Some of them are hanging off of chains, which I think is really nice. 
And then back here is just sort of like an area where we can walk around. I'm not exactly sure again what I want to do here, but the inside textures I sort of wanted to make the house feel like it was sort of expanding outwards. So it kind of has this little lip that goes around the top part here. And on some of the places like here with this crafting table, I put a craft, you know, I put the crafting table obviously right here and stuff. So it's kind of nice because it's sort of like a built in shelf, but it's also a little bit limiting in terms of like the floor design. So I don't know if you guys again have any ideas, let me know. And I will say that the most challenging part with this build was trying to figure out the layout. It was definitely an exercise in creativity, which I actually had a lot of fun with. So I hope you guys enjoy how this house is laid out and how it progresses upwards sort of through the tree. All right, so this is how it goes. We have a staircase right here that goes up. And this part is pretty cool. So this is like the little balcony area that I was telling you guys about that sort of has that lookout down onto that lantern down there. And I don't know, I just felt like it gave more of an open vibe to this sort of landing right here. And this landing is also the one that accesses this door outside. And so if I open this door, it's, it's nighttime, but this is sort of how you get to the roof which is kind of fun. And then if you want to get up even higher, I put a ladder right here that kind of brings you up over here, which is actually super handy when I was building because I needed some spots to replace some blocks. But honestly, this was like the one of the first spots that I built. I sort of built this landing here and I was like, all right, it connects to the roof. Now what? How do I get down and how do I get up? So what I decided to do was to make a little sort of cubby hole here that has a lectern. And I thought this kind of fit in pretty well. And I have some storage over here as well. Some barrels, we have four barrels over here, although this one, is a bit hard to, uh, you know, access or whatever. Got some bookshelves and I was like, this could be kind of a fun little working area, you know, if you were studying up on some magic or whatever. And I was like, yo, we need to make this a little bit bigger. So then I decided to chop out this wall right here and put some flooring in. And in here, we sort of have a little mini library. I feel really good about how this looks, but I also feel like I could add something else in here and I'm not exactly sure what it should be. So again, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. We got a crafting table here. And then right up this little step right here, this is our bedroom. I'm gonna go ahead and sleep because it's nighttime. And again, just like this room, the library over here, I feel like the bedroom, I could do a little bit more decorating in here as well. Maybe we could put like a painting on the wall or something. But we have this nice, awesome, big window right here that views out to the beautiful, gorgeous sunrise in the morning. And then that's not all because then we have another staircase that's kind of hidden, it's sort of dark, kind of hidden that goes up right here. And then this, this room right here is the window here, which if you're looking at it from the outside is this window right there. So it's right sort of above the front door. So I know I've asked for a lot of help from you guys in the comment section here today, but this one is the most important. So what should I put in this room right here? I can't expand the room really at all because of how this roof is laid out, but I've, all, I've only got carpet on the floor right here, brown carpet, and I wanna know what I should make with this room. It's a little bit dark. We could probably light it up a little bit more, but what do you guys want to see me build inside this room? Like what's the functionality that this room should be? I'm not exactly sure. I don't think we have enough room for an enchanting room. Yeah, there's, there's definitely not enough room for an enchanting table in here. But what do you guys think I should do in here? Please leave me a comment down below and let me know. So anyways, guys, that is my Radagast house updated, sort of version 2.0, I guess. And I could probably add some more branches, but I kind of like the sort of rough and wild looking nature of it. Here, let's maybe look at it from the top of Germ's house. So I kind of like the wild and untamed nature of the house with all these different branches sticking out all over the place. And obviously my end goal here is to sort of make a mini forest in all this brown area that you see down here and kind of actually have this house maybe sticking out of the treetops a little bit, but sort of also have it hidden. So you won't see if there are any like the flaws with the house, it might be hidden a little bit more with some trees and stuff like that. But I kind of like it. And I would love to hear what you guys think. All right. So now that I gave you guys the quick little tour, I'm thinking we should probably do something with our front yard because we need some help. So these lovely animals behind me, they need a proper home. And I think it's time that I give it to them. And what's kind of nice is that I think when I laid out this whole area, I knew kind of what I wanted to do with the orange area. I knew what I wanted to do with the red area. Like we're going to definitely be building a sort of brown wooden decrepit wizard's tower here soon. For the yellow area, I kind of wanted to do some sort of automatic farms maybe. But I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly that I really didn't know what I wanted to do with this green area. I just marked it off because I thought it'd be cool to have right here. But now... I think it's pretty awesome that I have these animals here. And literally just before I started recording this video, I was like, yo, let's make an animal farm or an animal pen, a place to house these lovely creatures. So with that being said, I think there's only one thing left to do here. And that is to cue this up into a time lapse because look, let's face it, I have a really hard time building, talking, filming, and then making things look good on camera when I'm just trying to do it live. So I think if we do it over a time lapse, I'll be able to focus a bit better and the end result will be better. So guys, enjoy the quick little time lapse.
All right, guys, so here we go. This is the little animal pen that I have whipped up. Let's go explore it. I actually have a couple things I want to add to it real quick. So the first thing is I sort of mocked up this little water trough here. I was just sort of messing with the design and I used just basically a, you know, two spruce stairs on the end and a slab in the middle with these spruce trap doors on the side here and I waterlogged it. And I thought, hey, this looks really cool. It looks like a little water trough. So I want to add that. But before we do that, let us let me just show you guys kind of around here. This It's not too involved, but we have a nice home now for all of our animals, which is cool. And I also found another pig that was wandering around in the nether, actually, outside one of the portals. So I just snagged him and, and put him in here. So yeah, we've got all of our chickens over here with all their eggs, which is kind of annoying, but hilarious and fun at the same time, I suppose, if we want to, you know, throw eggs at people or whatever. And then over here, we, I just sort of did like a pig and cow combo. We only have one cow, but we have the piggies out here. And I think what I'd like to do is probably put the trough like right here, the water trough here maybe. But also another feature that I added into this design was I thought it'd be kind of fun to sort of have like some rocks, do like a bit of a rocky texture kind of as the wall over here. And so I kind of did that here and wrapped it around the back side a little bit. So this side with the pigs and the cows is different than the side with the chickens because I felt like I didn't want them to be the exact same. Also, while I was building this in a time lapse, I had Jermsey Boy's stream on. He was actually streaming on Twitch while I was just playing so I was watching his stream and one of the things he did in his stream was he made a new statues book. So we have these statues data pack on this server where we can use armor stands and different things like that. But the version 2.7, which I haven't messed with, it adds functionality to use item frames to house items. And then you can make those item frames disappear. So you basically just have items. So it's sort of like the same functionality as the statues, but it just is a slightly easier because you're using item frames. So I think I'd kind of like to maybe add something in this build with that. And I'm not sure exactly what yet. Maybe we grab like a carrot or something and we put it, I don't know, against the wall. I, I don't know, I don't know. I, I don't have any good ideas, but I kind of just want to mess around with it. But first let's build this trough. All right, so I'm going to just take the water out of here. We're just basically going to move this over to the build and we'll just chop this down. And here's the challenge because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to actually even fit it inside of here yet. It looks like I might actually need to sort of redo the wall or the side over here. There's really no good spot for it. Hey, is Jeremy over here? He's over there. Hold on. Hey Germ! Hmm, yeah, this is kind of challenging. Maybe, maybe we don't place it inside the area over here because basically what, what would happen is if I wanted to do it right here, so it's lined up on this side and it's not interfering with the gate that I have right here, this is a fence gate right here, then I wouldn't be able to put the spruce trap doors on this far side here and it would look really weird. But possibly if we put it on the outside, that could actually sort of look cool as well. Hey Germ. So we have the rocks on this side over here but I'm thinking maybe we can put the trough on this side. And I know it'll be a little bit different because it won't be inside the animal pen. I kind of don't have enough room in there to do it, but maybe it'll still look cool on the outside. So let's give it a shot. Start here. The problem is that because we're using the trap doors, it sort of still takes up this full, full, full block area here, which is kind of a bummer. So it's going to have to be essentially one block removed from the wall, which is kind of weird, but maybe it'll look all right. I don't know. Let's just try it out and then maybe I'll mess with it later and see if I can fix it. Let's just do this for now so that we at least have set it up. And we'll put these trap doors on the side. How am I missing one? All right, there was one on the ground still over there that I didn't grab. Okay, so let's fill this up with water. We're gonna go back and forth and grab all the water here. All right, so there we go. That's the little trough. It's sort of just outside of our animal pen here. I, I don't know, I might spend some extra time trying to figure out a creative way that I can build this into the thing itself. Or maybe we could just have multiples of these. We could have an animal trough right here and then we could do another one inside somewhere but they are bigger than they appear because they're essentially three blocks wide because of these trap doors on the side. So that kind of hinders things a little bit. All right, so the next thing I need are some carrots because I want to use those for the pigs over there. And I don't have any carrots in the fantasy area. So I came back over here to the medieval district and I know Sausage has some huge carrot farms over here. Yeah, here they are. So there's a bunch of carrots. I'm just gonna grab like a small handful of these and hopefully he's all right with that. We'll just put those back. And we're gonna grab a few more. There we go. All right, so we got 19 carrots. That should be good. Let's take these back to the fantasy district. And I might do a little carrot farm at some point soon too. Maybe right next to that animal pen. That could be kind of cool. All right, so this little this little build is looking kind of cool. It's fairly simple. I didn't want it to be too crazy. I want most of the focus to obviously be on the house. But this looks pretty nice. I think I think it looks kind of cool. So yeah, let's let's go in here. I, I've got an item frame on me and I kind of just want to basically guys, I just want to mess around with the armor stands book. Okay, that's really what I want to do here. So with that being said, let's figure out a spot that we can put this carrot. I don't know. It's going to look weird wherever we put it, but I just kind of want to test this out. So let's go ahead and put it right here. 
And then if we bring out our book and right click with the book, let's see if we can figure this out. Here we go. A page nine, invisible item frame. Yes or no. So let's say fix item frame. No. Oh wait, no. I think we want to do invisible item frame. There we go. Invisible item frame. Aha. So now we've got a carrot on the wall and that's actually really nice because we can also do that like on a table and stuff. We can add food on a table and things like that much easier than if you had a armor stand or whatever. And this pig is definitely interested in it. That's cool. So to show you what I'm talking about here, just as an example, let's say that this floor part right here is actually a table or we could even do it right here on top of this crafting table. Let's actually just do that. So we'll put the item frame down. Let's say that this is a table where, you know, we want to make a decoration for eating. You can put the carrot in there rotate it however you want then you open up the book the statues book go to the last page click invisible item frame and boom now you have a carrot or any food item just sitting on top of some sort of surface and if you think this is super cool like i do guys i have a patreon minecraft server that has all the same data packs that you see on the legacy server here so if you want to play on a vanilla smp minecraft server that has all the same sorts of stuff that you see on this server, you guys can check out my Patreon down below. And at the pro tier, you will get access to the server and it also helps to support the content that I create. So if you choose to do that and join our amazing server, which I will be doing a server tour video soon, by the way, if you do choose to do that, I just wanna say a massive thank you for supporting me. All right, so this place is looking cool. I'm thinking maybe soon I'll do like a mini carrot farm over here. I think that could actually look kind of nice or maybe like right, yeah, probably like right here. This spot would be even better. And that way it can be sort of different from the stones that are over there. But the last thing I wanna do before I end this video is I wanna make a little bit of a path, just a tiny one. Like I'm talking like, you know, I don't know, a couple blocks here, no big deal. Let's see, can I do that? No, I can't, I can't mine that one, or I can't make that one a path block. So let's put that like that, we'll just do, oops, let's do that. That way, kind of, uh, let's see, let's get rid of this. And we'll put that down. I don't know, I feel like we also need some landscaping too, like some little shrubs and, and ferns and things. So I got a couple of those in here. Okay, let's grab pieces of grass. Mm, do I want a bush? I don't know what I want for this, but just a little something to kind of give this area a little bit of extra, I don't know, forest vibes type of feel, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know the word I'm looking for here, but maybe something like that. And we'll put another flower like right here. And that looks terrible. So <laughs> let me grab some more. Hold on. Let me grab some more of the pieces of grass and maybe we'll put a piece of grass here, piece of grass here, here and spread it out so that the flower is like that. That looks a little bit better. Looks a little more natural and yeah, I think we'll probably leave another pathway area this way that will head sort of diagonally over to our automated farms, which we're gonna have here, which we've already got this one set up for the sheep. Although of course I might take this down and redo it, move it in a different spot or whatever. But yeah, that's gonna do it for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed it. I think this build was a lot of fun, very simple. And I would also actually like to do a tutorial soon on how to do different animal pens and stuff like this. I have some fun ideas for different things. Last week I released a video where I showed you guys how to build custom farms, just like this one that you see right here. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure to go check it out. I've been trying to sort of incorporate some tutorials in the content that I'm creating for you guys because it's, it's just fun. It's fun to share some of the knowledge that I have and give you guys inspiration and ideas. But on Legacy, it's also super fun to just whip up some cool builds and see this whole amazing fantasy district come together. So we definitely need to do some collabs soon with some people on here. I'm gonna try and think of some fun things that we can do. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Real quick, I'd like to give a huge thanks to all my amazing patrons for helping make this video possible. And a special thanks to L. Austin, Durano Camone, Gavin N., Brandon, and Katie Jesse. Guys, if you want to support me on Patreon, you can check out the link in the top of the description down below.